Hey Idol Hero fans, welcome to another video in the Fresh Account series coming right at you. In this episode we're going to be looking at our team, putting in some new upgrades, jumping into the tower, maybe doing some Marauder battles. We've got the Brave Trial open so we want to see how far we can get in that one. And also we're going to have a quick look at our guild, our Monster Club guild that we've got open on this server and it's really sort of starting to, to get going so that's pretty exciting but first and foremost let's jump into the team I asked you guys last episode who we should add into the team in place of this level 60 Miku who's really not pulling our weight and there was actually quite a bit of discussion quite a few heroes were thrown around but I think I'm going to go with Karma and the reason being I know she's not the greatest hero in the game she's pretty solid but this active skill deals attack damage against backline enemies and 25% chance to petrify them for two rounds. That CC is just going to be so important because we don't have enough lockup right now. Really all we have is Corpse Demon's active which is only hitting frontline for the most part uh, and then also his passive which might stun up the backline but other than that we don't really have a way of stopping the backline. So I think we're going to be going with Karma she does have problems, she's sort of, she's a little bit slow and a little bit squishy, so she can get taken out, uh, which is not the best. But I think she can really sort of help round out the team a little bit more, because we just need, we need damage and we need sort of stuns and CCs right now, and the Petrify thing really helps out with that. So we've upgraded her and we've got a couple new skills, Precise Strike. Basic attack target frontline dealing 85% damage, reducing their dodge. Uh, so that's really not going to be really that important at all, because dodge doesn't play a big part. Increasing hit and attack by 25%. That's a bit better, uh, especially the attack is great. All right, up she goes. This is a big upgrade right off the bat for the level one. And the final one is going to be blood strike. While below 50% health, increases the attack by 60% for three rounds only once. Alright, so that's more, and we're going to be able to get her all the way up, all the way up to 100 in one go, because we've, we've really been saving up our resources pretty well. So I think we are going to be a fair amount stronger, and the first thing we are going to do is I believe I have a Marauder up here on 21%, so we want to be picking up those 160 gems. So let's quickly fly into this and get these points. Just got to kill this Aiden. And I'm guessing it'll take about three goes. That's my prediction. I'm not even going to look. This is going to be a no-scope. I think we're going to get him this time. Here we go. Oh, mistakes were made. All right. Fourth time. Maybe. There we go. In four tries, we are going to finish off that Marauder and get ourselves some more gems. So we get the gems for just killing a Marauder. That's where you get the 50. And then we also get the 160. So that is pretty sweet. So the next thing we're going to jump into is going to be the Brave Trial. Uh, because we've done pretty well in the Brave Trial uh, last time. I think we got that up to about number 11, but this time what I'm really excited about is Corpse Demon has that that healing ability, so every time he gets low, he can heal himself. The downside of that heal is it only lasts for three rounds. But the thing is, these are all really quick battles, so I'm hoping he'll sort of gradually get gradually get worn away, but when that triggers, he can just he can just heal back up to full health and just keep going. So, it won't even... Oh, jeez, that was... That was so brutal. Um, so, I'm hoping the fact that he gets chunked down by the front line doesn't matter because he has all this healing. His active is going to be healing him as well. There we go, like he's on full health. So, this is the dream, really. Dragon is going to come in and finish him off. And that is going to get us through round number three. On to four. Oh, just the one dude. Free round. Hell yeah. Easy game. Easy life. Oh, were those all forest heroes? Not... Not quite. We've <laughs> got five forest heroes and then just stuck in a... a vast smoke as well. 
so close to the R, but not quite. It's like he's hiding in the trees. Stealth boy. So the rest of the team is getting kind of chunked down, so this is where it would be really helpful to have like an Ormus healing up the team. Because without the heals, like the self healing is great. Uh, everyone with a self heal is doing fine. You can see Blood Blade, uh, you can see Corpse Demon doing totally fine uh, with without the need for someone else to heal them. But the other guys are kind of slowly going down, but we're really, we're starting to work our way up. Okay, we're at number 8. So I feel like getting to 8 and onwards is like an acceptable limit. So, if you fall, if you sort of screw it up before 8, that's a bit sad. I guess seven's okay, but uh, from here on out it should start to get a little bit harder. And you can see our Karma uh, and our Emily at the back there are starting to get chunked down a little bit. Oh, before I forget... Let's get some items on this baby. I'll have you know that that was all planned, that I didn't put items on her. Because uh, if you don't put items on her, the Brave Trial becomes a bit easy. So that was all uh, completely intentional. And that is why we're doing so well in this Brave Trial thus far. Because she didn't have any items. Good stuff. Alright, so now we're getting a little bit harder. We've got that uh, 100 Dominator up front. But you can see our... Uh, our corpse demon just sort of keeps healing up. There we go. So that is going to clear us on number 9. So let's get to number 10. They've got a 100 Dantalion and an Ice Blink. So a 100 Ice Blink is pretty scary. Uh, hopefully we'll get a stun on him uh, from Karma. Let's see. Or even corpse demon. Ah, uh, we didn't, but it looks like... Alright, so he gets taken out by the dragon, and there aren't too many casualties. Emily just hanging in there by a thread. We might... Maybe we'll change her out, because it's almost pointless having someone so low. We'll keep in karma, though. Let's keep in karma. Let's see if karma survives this. Doing alright so far. No one with AoE. Oh, we gotta clean him up, and we are flying! Now this is exciting. Alright, we're up to number 12. Let's see what we've got. Alright, so they've got a monster hero. They've got Aiden, which is pretty scary, but I think he's in the first slot, so let's take him out. Almost pretty freaking scary as well. So this is... This team is probably definitely better than ours. Uh, as you can see, it's 50k power, and we're only at 48 right now. Uh, I'm not sure if we need a... What's better is a 50 Lutz. Or a 60 Illyria, or a dead Karma. Oh, we'll just stick with Karma. But I suspect that this could be pretty sorry. That being said, the uh, Corpse Demon... If the Corpse Demon can sort of carry... Oh, that hit. That hit the Blood Blade, unfortunately. And it looks like he's gonna... It's not gonna be enough, I don't think. Come on! Ah, there he goes, he's down. Ends up being pretty close. If it was a little bit closer, we could have... Like, you just throw the entire... Second team at it. I guess we could have given them items, but like, I don't think... There's much of a chance at all here. Or maybe... Hang on. Alright, 4v1, let's go. Ah, oh, he's just... Alright, oh, we got the monster. Okay. Maybe... This will be closer than we thought. We just need that monster. We got the stun. We got the monster to finish. Oh, it's the B team cleaning house and getting us to that level 12, which is going to get us a whole nother tier of rewards. So that was a massive play uh, by the bench warmers. Good stuff. Let's see. So we got 150 there. And then for the stage 12, we are going to get 250. Which is going to bring us to 2150 little teeth. With that, we can upgrade our monster a little bit more. Let's jump into him. Monster boy. Currently level 20 active. Only up to 21. That's still pretty good. You saw how much he carried. How much he carried that last bit against that Dantalion. What a hero. Alright, level 12 in the Braid Trial. That is, I think, one better than last time. So... We are improving. Good stuff. 
So last thing in this video is going to be the Monster Club Guild. Let's see how we're doing. So jumping in, we are currently sitting at 16 out of 16 members, and we are nearly at level 4. So we kind of need uh, to upgrade a little bit more because the, t the, uh, the guild is really completely full right now, and no one has been too inactive. I think if you've been offline for a couple of days, uh, Zubs Plus one day ago, alright, we'll let that pass. Uh, but after that, same with Kingpin here, because uh, we've got a bunch of applications waiting. So if you're on the list, thank you, thank you, I really appreciate you've taken the time to go out here and uh, just keep leveling up because I think we'll have to just sort of start selecting the people who are playing the most, leveling up the most to be in the guild because I really want the guild to be as good as it can get. Jumping into the raid, let's see if we're nearly going to complete it. 34%, Zob's still at top, like he's always going to be, don't even, don't even try, always going to be winning, but let's, uh, let's see if we can take out What's he at? 34%. Alright, so we're going to have a couple of goes and see if we can take out the guild boss with the big squad. The big Zobs squad. Alright. Number one. Defeat 684k damage, mostly coming out of Bloodblade, but some handy damage as well from from uh, the monster, from Melassa, from Karma, so that's pretty sweet. Let's see how much percentage that got down. So that got him down about 9%. So I think we can probably finish off this guild boss uh, with one more try after this. So he's only... <laughs> oh, why you make me spend the 40 gems? But we're going to do it. We're going to finish it off because we have to. Let's see how many hits he was away. <laughs> that is cruel. That is cruel. We had to spend 40 gems for that 8k damage. But that means we are going to get that boss down. So that's the second boss down. Uh, Zob's coming in first place. Tommy Pickle in second. Silly Devil's in third. Screwfox in fourth. Shout out to Screwfox who I forgot to shout out to last episode. Chicken Nuggets in fifth. And Danos the Scrub in sixth place. Fallen out of the top five unfortunately. Get good son. Alright. That is going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching guys. Uh... More videos coming your way soon. Uh, drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, keep playing if you want to be in the guild. Uh, drop a comment if you're sort of left out right now and you really want in. Because we definitely want Monster Club nearly level 4. We just cl cleared another raid boss on the third one now. Do it well. Only been open for like 2 or 3 days and we're smashing it. So let me know if you want in. Uh, because we can hopefully make a spot for you when we level up and get some more positions open. Thanks for watching, guys. Tune in for another episode soon. Peace out. Bye.